Assalamu alaikum. Hello, my dear student. Welcome to all of you in our online classroom, as by Samsula Khan School and College English version. I'm your math teacher, Muhammad Intia Jahmed. I hope you all are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Well, today in this math class, we are going to learn the subtraction. In our previous class, we have learned how to do the subtraction and we have done some problems from our textbook. We also today try to solve our from the textbook. So please open your textbook, your copies and take a pencil to solve these problems. Today we will do some maths from the page 70. Here is the number one is already done and we will learn how to do this kind of subtraction. Here in the first example it given that 2 subtraction 1 is equal to 1. How they have done this? Well, first of all they have taken 2 boxes and among 2 we have to subtract 1. That means we must cross 1 box from this 2. So how many boxes are left? Well, you can see there are only one box. That's why we will write 2 subtraction 1 is equal to 1 because we have only one box. In the next examples, it says 3 minus 0 equal to what? So first of all, we will take 3 box. As you can see that we have to subtract nothing. Zero means nothing. So we will not cross any box among them. So how many boxes are remaining? You can see that there are three boxes already remain. So the answer will be three. That means three minus zero is equal to three. Let me tell you once again. We have the math 3 minus 0 is equal to what? So first of all, we have taken 3 boxes. Then we need to cross. But as you can see that we have to minus 0. 0 means nothing. So we will not cross any box from the top 3. So let's count how many boxes are available. You can see that there are 3 boxes are available. So the answer will be 3. In the next math we have 4 minus 3 is equal to what? For that we will take 4 boxes. And among 4 boxes we will cross 3. Because in our math it says minus 3. That's why we are going to cross 3 box among the 4. After crossing those boxes only one box is remain so the answer will be one let me tell you once again we have taken four boxes and we we have to cross three among the four so how many box are remained un, un uh, crossed you can see that only one box is remain that's why the answer is one the next math says 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. So what we are going to do now? We will take 9 box and we are going to cross 3. 1, 2, 3. After crossing the 3 box, we need to count how many boxes are uncrossed. We can count that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six box are uncrossed not crossed that's why we must put six on the box i repeat we have taken nine boxes and we have crossed three among the nine and we can see that there are six box are remain unchecked so we can write the answer is six In our next example, it is 6 minus 2 is equal to what? 
for this I am going to take six boxes and after taking the six boxes I need to cross two box among the six so after crossing one and two box how many remains we can count we have one two three four there are four box remains that means the answer will be four I repeat we have taken six boxes and I have crossed two among the six so how many remains we have found out there are four box remains that's why the answer is four in our next math it says 2 minus 1 is equal to what so I am taking two boxes and I have to cross one box among the two so how many remain I can count only one box is remain so the answer will be 1 I repeat I'm going to take two boxes among the two I am crossing one box and another box is remain un, un, uh, is not crossed so so the answer will be one in the next math we, we have 8 minus 4 is equal to 4 now what we are going to do we have to take eight boxes among eight boxes I need to cross four so I'm going to cross one two three four four box is crossed so how many remains let's count we have one two three four four box remains with not cross so the answer will be four I repeat we have eight boxes among the eight boxes I have crossed four and the remain we have four boxes that's why the answer is four in our next example we have eight minus three is equal to what for this math I have taken eight boxes and I need to cross three among them so I have crossed one two three boxes let's count how many is remain well we can see that there are one two three four five five boxes are remain so the answer will be five let me tell you once again I have taken eight boxes and I have crossed three among the eight and after crossing three I have five remains so the answer is five let's do some other maths here we can see that three minus zero equal to what so I am taking three boxes here so let's count how many boxes we should cross well as you know that zero means nothing so we will not cross any box so how many remains the remaining number are same that means 3 so the answer will be 3 in our next math we have 5 minus 3 is equal to what as you can see that we need to take 5 boxes among the 5 boxes I have to cross 3 boxes so I am cutting 3 boxes from them 1 2 3 so how many remains if you count we can get four boxes are free sorry two boxes are free so the answer will be two I repeat first of all I have taken five boxes and among the five I have crossed three and I count that there are only two boxes remain so the answer will be two in our next math it says 7 minus 2 equal to what so once again I am taking 7 boxes among the 7 boxes I need to cross 2 because it says minus 2 that's why I am crossing 2 among the 7 boxes so let me count how many remains well there are 1 2 3 4 5 boxes remain so the answer will be 5 I repeat 
first of all I have taken seven boxes and I have to cross two among the seven and let's count how many remains we can see here there are five boxes remain so the answer will be five in our next math it says 4 minus 0 equal to what so I am taking 4 as you know that 0 means nothing that means I don't need to cross any box among the 4 so how many remains it remains the same number that means we have 4 boxes available here so the answer will be 4 so my dear students you have seen how to do the subtraction so you have to practice from your textbook from the page uh, 70 all the math I have done here and you have to uh, answer them without watching this video try to do this math in your copy and you must show your parents that you have learned how to subtract and you have learned how to do the subtraction and you must show them and make it correct if you don't understand try to watch this video once or twice so that it makes you clear so thank you very much that's all for today but remember one thing before starting this uh, classes you have to stay at home and stay safe and if you have any problem if you have any queries feel free to contact us below